James Harden is one of the most polarizing players in the league today. He's one of history's greatest offensive talent, but he does have some glaring weaknesses and we're not talking about his defensive game. He doesn't show up when it counts, he gets tunnel vision, doesn't know when to stop shooting and can be very indecisive at times. But the biggest weakness that affects his game has been strip clubs. Yes, you heard me right, I said strip clubs and this has been mathematically proven. It's no secret, James Harden has a certain love for the arts of erotic dancing, let's say. His jersey a couple years ago was retired at a Houston strip club because of how often he visited and how much he spent. His love for these clubs run deep. In an elimination game in the Western Conference semi-final, it was reported he was seen at one of these clubs till 4 a.m. And to no surprise, he had a terrible game shooting 2 for 11 from the field and aiding his team to a 40 point blowout. The question became, do strip clubs affect the level at which James Harden performs? A Redditor by the name of Ryan Sullivan set out to answer this question after Harden had another horrendous game against the Miami Heat, a city renowned for its world class strip clubs. My guy Ryan analyzed James Harden's performance in every NBA city for the past four seasons and correlated it with those cities' reputation for strip clubs to see if there is any relationship. He did this by using these six stats and defining variables. He defined subpar performances as games Harden performed below his season average and very subpar games as games 20% worse than his season average. Then, he determined the average strip club rating by averaging the Google review rating for the first 10 strip clubs that popped up in his searches in each city. Now, this is where it kind of gets hard for people who haven't taken statistics. Ryan performed a regression analysis with the strip club data and James Harden's performances. He found the correlation coefficient which is a measure of strength between two variables to be 0.4575, which is a positive, moderate relationship. Meaning, Ryan found out to a statistical degree, Harden's performances decline in cities with higher rated strip clubs. This was further supported when it was found Harden plays his best at Toronto, the city with the worst strip clubs, and plays his worst at Miami the city with the best strip clubs. The takeaway from this analysis is to slow one of the greatest offensive talents we have ever seen is to take an unorthodox approach, not hug his left side, but invest in your strip club. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to tune in next week for a new video and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps and turn post notifications on so you guys can watch the content as soon as it drops. This is Earn Your Ranks where we only talk about ball. Signing off.